This is one on one. That's good acting, man. I get that a lot. I go to Atlantic City all the time. Like, are you the guy? I go, no, I'm not. This is one you can't afford to miss. They thought that I would survive it, but I knew I would. Everything you ever wanted or needed to know about the New York, New Jersey Harbor. You're about to find out. We have an expert in the house, Lilo Staten is the campaign coordinator for the New York, New Jersey Harbor Coalition, which is what? <laughs> it is a brand new entity. Um, it was formed uh, within the last year. It is a group of advocates who have come together to push for a cleaner, greener, more accessible, more vibrant uh, waterfront in both New York and New Jersey. And uh, by that, we mean clean water, projects that support that. We mean parks and uh, docks and piers that people can use. We also mean uh, waterfront communities mm. that have good jobs, that aren't flooding all the time, ports that are vibrant and have, you know, are healthy for the workers. What's up with the harbor things. now? The harbor is an amazing thing. It is, uh, it's an am it, we're talking about a region that has more than 700 miles of coastline, 22 million people in this area. And there, ha there have been a number of studies on the harbor over the past few decades and what they found is it is recovering on its own. There's a huge toxic history here, a legacy of pollution and overbuilding and just heavy, heavy use of our harbor. So when you look over the years, there have been uh, a number of efforts that have really started to turn that around, mostly in the 70s, starting with the Clean Water Act, and there were some local things that... that federal uh, legislation. Federal and about, state, right. yeah. The, 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 the New Jersey DEP was formed right. soon after that, and then in the Meadowlands, the Meadowlands Commission, and counterparts on, on the New York side. So those things have really started to take root. And when you look at the science, it's unbelievable how much the toxicity is dropping off from, that, from the 70s. But that said, there is still a very long way to go. Um, what does as, it mean economically? Economically, it's, it, these are big dollar projects primarily. Um, we are looking for federal funding and, and other sources. Um, but the important thing to keep in mind is that this is an investment that really, really pays off in the long run. Um, mm -hmm. Not only are some of these things much more expensive to fix farther down the road. Um, they fix are, what, though? Fix clean water. Specific. For example, um, clean water. Well. We're, we're looking at a number of projects. For example, uh, clean water, restoring marshes, uh, seeding oysters. Believe it or not, an adult oyster can filter 35 gallons of water a day. What? One single little mollusk. Lilo, yes. What are you talking about? I am talking about oysters. <laughs> I'm trying to follow oysters. this. this is the clean, an oyster cleans what? An oyster cleans water. It filters. How do you know these things? Well, I, I read a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, you should. I have I, experts. We actually can come back to the oyster thing in a second. Tell folks, but, but I bet you some people are saying, what's her background? Right. You know this stuff for a reason. Well, I know this stuff because uh, I did work for a while at the Meadowlands Commission where we, we did a lot of environmental work. Um, but most of my background is as a reporter. Well. And uh, Gannett in the State House, and as a reporter, as you know and reporters know, you have to basically become an expert on something in no time. And this was your field? This is your beat? This was one of them, yes, but it was okay. a beat that I really, it was, it was an issue that I really liked. You got liked. into this? I did, okay. and part of this is a, is a personal thing. I grew up sailing, I actually grew up in Vermont, but I grew up on the water, and ever since I moved to New York, which was decades ago now, um, I've really enjoyed the the you know, the water's edge, being on those promenades or old boat yards or whether it's derelict areas or, or renovated areas, being out in a boat. There's something about that harbor and the water that I think really, I mean, it means a lot to me, but I think it, it has a similar effect on mm. a lot of people. Um, I keep thinking these are the things that people sort of care about at the end of the day. You go home, you can take your fishing pole down to the pier and throw in the line and just chill out with, you know, a cup of coffee, a beer, whatever it is. You know, that is a real quality of life issue. Um, you can go down to the harbor and launch a kayak, or there is a clean park nearby where you can go and take your family and picnic. And for example, the, one of the Harbor Coalition's focus is to really bring these these assets to what is called what are called underserved neighborhoods, and of what course, that, mean? that means the people who historically get the short end of the stick. There's really no way other to say it. Um, your ironbound community, your this is in Newark, yeah, right. Newark ironbound. I mean, it's sort of the area that that it doesn't get the resources. And um, how does the harbor help them? 
Well, it's it's a resource. It's a place where they can go and recreate and spend you know, spend time with their children and their families. But it's also, there's an environmental aspect. There is, if we have clean water, we have uh, wildlife that depends on clean water. I mean, clean, when you have clean water and clean sediments, that, that means you can, you can nurture all kinds of organisms in the mud and in mm. the water table. And then you go up from the marine life and you get to bird life. And then you go up from there and you get to the mammals. And so this whole food chain that depends on clean environment matters in a lot of different ways for people, whether it's bird watching or fishing. I mean, right now, for example, there's all kinds of wonderful fish in, in this estuary, but a lot of them are restricted. Um, what do you mean restricted? Restricted means you, you can't eat them at all, or you shouldn't be eating them often, or if for pregnant women, sometimes it's not at all. Um, for example, if you, if you fish on the Hackensack, um, I mean, people pull out enormous striped bass and, and incredible fish, but not all of those are, are good to eat yet. And that's, that's this toxic legacy we'll that we're dealing with. We'll get to that point. We go, are looking go to back get to the oysters point. real quick. Mm -hmm. What do they do? <laughs> the oysters? I mean, I have, I'm, trust me, I'm fixated okay. by that. Well, the oysters are a really big thing to one of our member agencies, and that's New Jersey Baykeeper. Um, and they have done a lot to seed these oysters um, down around Monmouth in, right. in that coast er coastal area, um, also in Governor's Island, New, Yo New York. And there are a number of other projects. Uh, I think there's a picture now of some kids with oysters. Um, these the, these little mollusks actually filter the water. That's what they do. They sort of they filter it through their bodies, and they are by doing that they are cleaning the water. So I mean, we can clean water by doing investments in um, in sewer systems and other infrastructure to right. prevent pollution, and we can do clean water by investing in marshes and and. Uh, Restoring wetlands, and we can also invest in oysters. Well, Lila, I mean, it's a it's a full spectrum. Of you're looking options. to raise awareness. You're looking mm -hmm. to 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 be helpful to a lot of as you said under, underserved communities. But there's money involved here. Yes. The federal government. Yeah. Okay. The federal government, in terms of its commitment to the New York New Jersey Harbor, as it relates or as it compares to other bodies of water, is astoundingly low. Why? Um, it's well. This is an got interesting thing. A lot of powerful thing. politicians exactly. in the area. It's I don't got get power, it. Well, it's got a number of things. It's got powerful people. It's got 22 million people, and it's got an incredible estuary that has all these natural resources, but it has not had a coordinated effort to Hold go. Hold on. The Great Lakes has all kinds of hundreds exactly. of millions of dollars. We get what? Close to half a billion. The Great Lakes has gotten. Uh, New York, exactly. New York, New Jersey, last year got eight hundred thousand um, dollars. Now that's through the through the Environmental Protection Agency, and that's the money that's essentially earmarked for restoration. Why do we get the shaft? Because we haven't approached it in a co uh, cohesive manner. Uh, there have been studies for years to document that the the scientific baseline, the, the quality of the water and the need, right. that's been well documented. There have been plenty of efforts to to rally around individual projects, but what the Harbor Coalition wants to do is, is to take this effort, pull it together, and try to draw attention and resources to, to really move this ball and forward. And bring New York and New Jersey government officials together to cooperate? Yes. To I, collaborate? It, it is. Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. In well, this lifetime? In this life, yeah, right. What's the, Hopefully. Uh, 30 seconds. What's, the, what's their vested interest in doing this? New York's vested interest? No, New York and New Jersey together. New York and New Jersey, because it's partly it's economic. For every dollar you invest in, in national parks, you get four dollars into the local economy. You also can raise property values near a national park between five and twenty percent. So there's an economic value. There's also a legacy value here. Think Central Park. That's my favorite example. Real quick. People never would have imagined how great that was when it was first done and now look at us. It's a jewel. We need to do that kind of thing throughout the region. Find out more information about the uh New York, New Jersey Harbor Coalition. Lilo, you are terrific. You're the campaign director. You just started there, but I got to tell you something. You got a lot of energy, and you got passion and commitment, and you, had, as you said, you have a reason. You care deeply about this. Thank you. Thank I have you. I'm telling you, educate a lot of people. Thank you. I know I learned a lot. Stay with us. We'll be right back on one-on-one. -on -one. That was good. If you would like more information on this program, or if you'd like to express an opinion, email us at info@caucusnj.org. At and visit us online at oneonone.org.